The Redeemer has risen. Hey, what is up, guys? Marcy here coming to you another first person video, and today I'm going to be playing some games versus Senna. Now, apologies for not posting any FPVs or videos this week. I have been quite, quite ill, actually. Um, I've been sick. And I've been having difficulty in sleeping as well at night, uh, a lot of breathing problems. But uh, yeah, I am recovering. And uh, don't expect the best gameplay in the world here, but I am going to try and bring you guys something nonetheless for this week. We're going to be versus Senna here. We'll be playing Senna in this uh, game. And I'm going to try 59 because we did both pick random. Now, I could have done what I did in my tournament video and checked his Fogger Wars to see if he was going to be selling it like to, to determine what faction he could be from random but I didn't do that anyways he's not known to rush I mean he can go for the occasional three bike rush which can really catch you by surprise if you don't scout it at all but I found that rush really push you behind if um, the outcome is your opponent sees it early on so yeah um, he's a very safe player of course he does descent rush all the time as well, that's why I'm scouting the flanks. He's going to be scouting the left side, the right side most likely. I'm going to just dump this in this building here just for future scouting. He's going to get a buggy out. Um, he always does this, I've noticed. I'm going to put this buzzer in the corner here just for future scouting purposes. I'm going to be trying for you now. I'm going to try not to lame the hexapod like mad. But if I have to, then who's to say no, right? Get clean my buzzers up. So you get uh, an expansion down. He's probably going to go for a um, expansion on one power plant. Can't see his war factory. Though I can just send this in here. The moment I think he's going to go double war factory. I don't think he's going to go for double war factory on this map. It doesn't really work that much. It doesn't really work that well. So I don't think he'd do that. So let's see what he's got here. I think he's just going to go for eco. That's what he's going to do in this game. While he made a buggy, I didn't. I just have a buzzer hiding in the corner, so I'm not going to panic and you know make a load of stuff. He's actually very delayed on his expansion. Uh, maybe he's got double war factory. Let's go see if that is uh, happening. Uh, thus far, it doesn't look like it. He's just ecoing. Again, not sure why he's delayed. Maybe you have an engineer around the side. I don't think he does that though. Senna's not known to do that. Um, we go for some Seekers. I do have a macro, by the way, that's, that queues two Seekers, then a Gunwalker in sequential order. But just going to eco like mad. And I've been a fan of cranes lately. I just think they're a really good way to, you know, win the macro game. I'm going to experiment and build those cranes. And I can even use it to spread my refinery out a bit more. Construction complete. Building. So, yep. Just going to see what he's going to do. I think he's got double war factory now on complete. the field. Building. And I can also... My second one is the... Um, that, so I need to make, make bear that in mind. He's got scorpion tanks out. Is he going to continue to go for those scorps? He's actually on double refinery. Construction complete. New construction options. He's got some tanks there. I'm just going to wait till I have this here, and then, and then I'm going to go for that tier three. Oh shit! Back, 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 back. Yep, could be better this. He's going to put some pressure on. He's got double war factory, I think. No, he's only he's not on even double war factory. How is this even possible? Nevertheless, I'm going to put this spike down here if he decides to chase me. Construction complete. New construction options. I'm not going to overspend on infant anti uh, disintegrators because he's just going to make mass buggies now. The moment he sees it's just a few disintegrators. So I'm just going to pause that instead. See if he's going to flank from this angle here. And he's very passive on this map. I'm not sure if it's wise to be. But nevertheless, 
You get a refinery down, just eco well ahead. This is just going to be a passive game. I'm curious to see if I can win this sort of game, if I can do this. Of course, I've never done this before, so I will struggle a little bit to know what my opponent's doing. He's not gone for an expansion yet. Let's see if he's going for a redeemer. He may do. He's just building up a defensive wall. Take that out. That's probably for to spot for defense. And look at that, man. That's how quick I was able to get my expansion down. Let's just... Uh, Put this prodigy on a control group that I can remember. Select right, teleport these here. He's coming over here now with his army. And I can just go for a tier 4 and use the wormhole to take his MCV over there as well. Construction complete. Building. Enemy units construction options. Building. And he can use the one click on my field. I haven't used the. Construction complete. Let's just Foundation kill this venom. Might be able to intercept here. here. Okay. I'm in a pretty good position here, all things considered. Harvester under attack. Let's just take this venom over. Enemy base sighted. See anything? So you get one click down, I'm going to get just one refinery, which is not a big deal, honestly. That is not a big deal. He's got his scorpion tank army here. He's got a refinery down too. And I'm going to get my hexpod done as well. I'm just going to take his MCV over now. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay, he's not going to take this out. Actually, let's do this. Teleport this over here, move it. Still go for that. He's got a refinery down on his field, so he can still go for venoms and such. I'm gonna go for packs now as well. That'll be a good move. I need to keep an eye on his army though. See where it's maneuvering to. He hasn't got his redeemer out yet. I'm just gonna continuously abuse this. Get that storm rider out just to spot his base. He's just going to get taken out there. I'm going to get that storm rider out as I've done here. I'm just going to use that to scout him. Construction complete. Gonna have that wormhole done soon. I'm going to be able to retreat from this. He's not going to get himself anything there. So I've got this here. I'm just going to scout his base, see where he is. He's got his MCV out. I've got a one click plan down too. Maybe I could take that one click plan with the uh, Prodigy that I have. I may have stealth as well. Okay, got that wormhole done now. Okay, use the support powers here. Oh my god. And I took all of his tanks out on the tip field. This is pretty lame, man. This is as lame as it gets. We're still. This is how probably Bycrush would play. 
But yeah. I think some packs would be good now too. I think I've got enough tripods for my liking. I'm just gonna keep an eye on his base here with the lone storm riders that I have. I've taken out his expansion. Not sure if he's got another one down though. Nevertheless though, I'm gonna start spamming those packs out. I'll go for the traveler engines, which is up here. I've I've really played this playstyle, guys. This is unlike me. And he's got some forces coming up here now. I wonder just how many. I could probably take that spike over too, so let's just make an engineer and take that over real quick. And I assume this is Senna. He's playing like Senna. He's very passive. And I always thought that this versus Senna was going to be good. And this this is the strength of Tri-59. The wormhole cooldown, it's like 90 seconds or so. He's got that there, that stealth tower. Okay. He's just going to take this spike over here. Get these here, take the spike over. Get as many of these small victories as I can. He's going to get those taken out. I'm just going to do what he does, which is get small little victories here and there. Right. Keep this prodigy alive. Why can't I target those outside the map? Um, what the fuck? For some reason you can't do that. Uh, target units that are in the fog. I'm playing very slowly. I phase these seekers just to get into the back of his base here. Okay. And I'm spamming out these packs. As, as, if you get a metric ton of them, then you're going to be just fine. So he's not going to be able to have Venoms all over the map here. I'm just going to position all my forces here, ready for a big assault while I take something of you know, great importance to him. He's going to go for infantry now. Interesting. Right, he takes that out. Pretty good interception. Hexapods here. It's not going to be enough though, I don't think. Just get into this building here. And I'm going to put these these packs over the hex pod just so it can block some rocket damage. And I don't think he's going to be able to stop this. Like, it is literally impossible for him. I'm going to keep these corruptors back too, just in case he has, like, a catalyst missile and I lose those somehow. He's going to try and aim these down too. get these this forward this drone ship okay pack is hit I mean prodigy let's take three of these avatars over take this out Oh, what the hell am I doing? Take out these freaking things here. He's holding on by a thread. God, the micro could have been better in this fight, but yeah, I think it's just going to be enough here to take him out. Got the prodigy coming in too. Uh, miss rally point. God, he's 
just got these infantry forces I can't seem to take out. Maybe I can take this out somehow. And you can just aim behind a unit and it would uh, change directions. Oh fuck me, what the fuck's going on? I can't seem to aim down my forces correctly. Okay, uh, maybe get the Overlord's Wrath down on my field here just so I can harvest a bit more Tiberium. I am getting so much resources from this hex body. He's not, he didn't get Emp cores. Not that I don't think it would have mattered, but yeah, I haven't played in a while, guys. I, good job I went into his base with those uh, face seekers because I needed to see if he was going for uh, transition to infantry. But yeah, I originally wanted to take over a building of his, but that's as lame as it gets with Traveler 59. I know, I know, guys. I know it's lame, but I was versus Nod, and theoretically, that is a you know a, def a fair matchup, right? I was ahead quite substantially. I didn't really need a micro in the end. I didn't use the temporal wormhole because then my drones, my planetary assault carriers, would just slow down as well, and then my army um, would be limited in effectiveness. And yeah, that was GG. So took center out there. All right, guys. Can I continue with the crane? Can I out macro the macro king with the crane? I'm going to take a leaf out of Panic's book, go for that crane. I found that when I played this game in the past, Panic had the best macro. Senna, he was good at massing armies, but when it comes to like mass eco, Panic did it the best. And the reason for it is because he went for crane after his third ref. And I actually do like that. Anyways, I'm going to keep this portal around here. I actually am quite thrilled to play Black Hand. It's been such a long time since I've played Black Hand. So yeah, versus Senna, what you want is you want a massive eco advantage versus him. That's what I'm going to strive for here. I'm not going to overspend on the scouts. I'm going to go for a Flame Engineer Reckoner. And of course, if he is any faction, I can probably make this work. I'm going to at least make my Engineer get to, um, to that spike there. So that's fine. Could take these spikes over with no delay. And it's been a while since I've made a video, a FPV. I'm not sure if I'm going to call this the 100 first person video. I don't really have the time to edit um, a video out, so... Uh, I was thinking then of making a buggy. Oh, okay. Well, that's a problem. That means that... We're going to have to go for this. Uh, I, of course, I do need all my structures here. Uh, do I need this barracks? Yeah, I do for the engineer. He's just going to come in here. Going to take this out. He's not going to come in and take me out, which is very nice of you. Okay. Right. Well, he's still black hand, which means I need to go for a buggy to see what he's going to do. He's going to go for a load of bikes, no doubt, here. That's what he's going to do. So I'm going to see what uh, he's going to respond with. He's going to try and stop this Reckoner. That much I know, but I need to know whether or not he's going to go for an all-in. That is, uh, that remains to be seen. Oh shit, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Fuck. I didn't have enough time in the end. Oh my god, I should have got that spike. I should have just captured it, man. Why did I delay? That was a huge mistake. I don't think that really that put me behind, didn't it? Yeah, it did quite a bit. We we'll go for infantry now to hold that off. That's the risk you take when you play random. You can't really make any strategic decisions. You can play safe like I did last game, but then, you know, how, how exciting is that? That's in range. Kill that. Going for bikes? Yeah, he is. 
Tiberian exposure detected. Construction complete. Building. He's not killing my black hand squad. He could try and crush that. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to send these units down here. I'm going to get that Black Disciple upgrade online. Am I such a madman? And am I, am I going to go for blue flame and a mirror? Of course I am. I'm going to do just that. I'm going to go for that blue flame. Uh, he's going to swing in with his bikes if I'm if I put that down. Okay, maybe take out this spike here. Maybe just split some of these rockets off just to kill some random forces here and there. Just drop this here. He's not taking any blue tip. He's just going to eco now. Okay, so maybe enough infantry for my liking. I'm going to be able to kill a lot of his infantry that are like scattered all over the map. He's black hand, so I can reveal his harvesters. Okay. All right, then let's see what he decides to do. He's got some infantry there. If it moves, kill it. The flames will rise. Power. We've got the rockets. Upgrade complete. What's the chances of this working? We've got the rockets. Rockets right here. Keep moving. Well, I've seen this a mile away, man. So I'm going to be able to stop this. If you lose all of his bike buggy, man, is that even worth it? I don't even think it is. Anyway, I'm going to come in here with this flame tank. Take out this. Maybe go for the flame tank, uh, the tier 3. He just used the, the face, the shield. Don't fuck around. Kill that. Take him out. Take out that tier 2. Wow. Probably got that as well, that tier 3. Took out his base. The entirety of it. Okay, don't need this anymore. Actually, enough of the flame tank. Let's go for tier 3. Sometimes it bugs out this, so you just need to use the focus firing. I don't want to lose that, unfortunately. That would be bad. Okay, get these here. I've got, I should go for that that freaking blue type of man. I've got all the maneuver room in the world to do that. Take out this. Oh my god, he's going masher turrets because he probably thinks that I have. Didn't get that, unfortunately, as well. Maybe a commander around the side would be good, though. Eh? Oh shit, I've got this still. Yeah, I don't want to go for more infantry. I think that's enough infantry, actually. I don't need to invest more into that. Take out this. 
taking all this blue typing, I really should take all of it because I do have the complete map control at the moment. Just need to. I mean, really, the key versus Senna is just to chill. I just said Black Hand, how's this still alive? I have no idea. Go for this redeeming facility, send this straight into his base. Oh, okay, maybe the commander was not a good idea anyway, because he's got particle beams. He's going to expect uh, more stuff to come. Okay. Uh -huh. I've got everything scouted here. I'm in a great position. Get that redeeming facility down. I think we going for mass beam cannons to face off against his redeemer. Take out this. Hmm. Actually, I do think this is worth it. Where's all my funds? I'm trying to get two thousand dollars. Wow, what the fuck? Come on. Where's my resources? Oh, I guess I'll just cancel that then. Where's my army? I could decoy some of these harvesters here. Um, take out this. Some of those harvesters are damaged. Might be able to destroy those too. Q moving his army, so just send one flame tank in then, here and there. Did I even get the upgrades for my tier 3? I need some of those. Of course, I did momentarily have to build my rebuild my harvesters, so that's probably why I delayed a bit. Uh, fuck, my hockey micro is terrible. Where's my rockets? Get those in. Get them in there, the rocket squads. God, he's causing so much damage with these fucking forces all over the map. I shouldn't be losing this. Demons there. Well, I don't think that was worth it. He's just going to lose his redeemer for what? One obelisk? I think that's worth it at all. How is he still causing problems in the back of my base? What's he going to transition to now, I wonder? Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've played Black Hand like this. We take out these refineries here with these beam cannons I have. Go for that commando. Maybe even a tier 3 4 again. Gonna go for this commando. We use that versus his infantry. 
Throw turrets will shoot against the infantry. Take those out. Put eight harvesters, all mining. Not very much. Flame tanks around the back could be a problem. That's why I've got these obelisks queued here. And I know he's got those Shroyotos, but I can make a Reckoner to defend my, protect my commando even more. He saved the AMC, remember? Shit. Can't, uh, I can't use this, unfortunately. This commander is just going to take out his entire army. Oh well, let's get taken out. Commando will get some damage dealt. I want to keep these beam cannons out at the tip field just in case he's got something there. And I can just go through purifiers now. My hockey micro. I keep forgetting my hockeys. So I'm playing very surgical here. I'm not. Did I use one or a final? Did I, did I even build two? I don't even remember. Take out this refinery here. Go for those purifiers now. Um, I'm going to get a second refinery down, then I'll move out with my MCV. But yeah, he's just going to give in here. And that's another cool and calm collected victory. He did try to make the double war factory work, but then I made the rocket squads the disciple upgrade, and I was scattered him all over the map. And then that flame tank man just freaking randomly came into his base. He probably never expected that in a million years. And somehow I won that game. So, yeah, that's uh, surprising. Considering how ineffective my rush was early on, I wasn't expecting to get uh, such a result early on in that game. So, yeah, GG. Uh, have I got my audio working here? Yeah, I have. Okay, that's great. So, this is working grand. And, yeah, we can go to the next game. All right, guys, we're back on Tournament LA. And I'm going to be Zocom this game. I'm actually having legitimate fun. Because I do have a few ideas, you know, the crane thing in my first game worked and in the second game I kind of had to improvise and adapt to the situation I was in because, yeah, I was actually very behind in that game. <laughs> now, Zocom. I know I'm going to be versus artillery, but look at it this way, guys. We do have Firehawks. We can go for eight Firehawks. We can bomb our opponent's MCV. We can also use four of them to bomb Spectres. So if we continuously abuse Firehawks, we can win the game. So let's do that. It's not something I've done very much recently, but I have uh, done it in the past to great effect, so let's see what we can make of it. It could be so calm. No rigs. <clears throat> I'm not going to go for the rigs. Ah, my god, my voice, man. <clears throat> oh my god, I may have to edit that part out. But yeah, I am not 100% at the moment. Black hand, really? Against Zocom? Ah, I guess it could be worse. I do have AP ammo at least. Need to scout him. I do have rockets on my harvesters, so bike rusher is not going to be a good thing. He probably knows to check enemy rifles and scouts to see what faction his opponent is. Since he's the master of random, he's going to know these things. So I'm going to dig this fox foxhole here. And then I'm going to get into his base, get a nice, lovely scout. And then he is going to get a scout on my base. But he knows I'm Zocom. There's no rush coming. Uh, what does Zocom have? Zorka rush? Yeah, right. As if you're going to make that work. He is going to expand at the moment. Black hand it is for center. He's on four harvesters. Or, I mean, I'm going to send my... He's on three harvesters. I'm going to send my fourth one to the blue field. In fact, I may even send the, this one to that field there. Just in case he has the idea of doing the same. <clears throat> so he's not going to go for the Tiberium in the middle. I am instead going to do that. Now, I don't have enough funds to make a refinery at the moment. I'm going to wait till this one docks in. You don't need to play fast in case Just play smart. Let's see what he's going to do here. See if he's going to go for bikes. Da -da 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 -da. Try and avoid the tip exposure. Just going to scout his war factory. 
He's gonna get some damage down my power plant. That's very annoying. He's got a sick harvester, but I just got a full load of loot, bro. I'm like literally, literally a full blow load of tip. He's just gonna eco center, ecoing the third time in the row. Like he's he's not made it work thus far, and he still continues to eco. Well, two can play that game. We're gonna go for that crane once again. What our key is it? F11. Yeah, right. As if I'm gonna hit that on my keyboard. Let's go for a bunch of. Uh... Oh crap! This is something I need to bear in mind as well when I go for the Tiberium. He's likely on Double War Factory now. He's spamming out buggies. Okay, do okay. Um, maybe APCs are going to be better in this case because if he makes a transition to infantry, then I'm going to be good versus that. So I think this is a smarter choice. I'm not sure why he's just sitting there though, like attacking a building. As you can see, I don't float any resources with this strategy. Then I can get underway with an expansion while I tech up. This is much like how Green Zero places on. Double War Factory. I'm going for AP ammo. Going for this upgrade here. Make sure it doesn't take any blue Tiberium. Just chill. He's on tier 2. I'm just spamming out these APCs, so while, you know, eventually they're going to be pretty useful. It's got a one-click queued. Probably on tier 3 soon. Construction complete. New construction options. Upgrade complete. Combat harvester ready. Loader's ready. Careful. You heard him. Who we getting? Come on. Easy ready when you are. Right away. Matter. Yep. One click as expected. Got that. Let's get some repairs here. And of course, I already anticipated this, so it's not a big deal. Upgrade complete. Building. Ready to tear it up. APC standing What's by. next? Building. Okay, an obelisk, and I'm not sure where he is with his army. I need to check the map. Like I'm a bit paranoid here. I mean, he could pop out out of nowhere and do loads of damage. So yeah, I need to be wary of that. Bike while he's up here. Hang on. He's on tip core, trying to get onto the tip field as well. Wow, that was a freaking massive epic one of those. Gonna keep continue going for those fire hawks or try to. Go for that Marv or try to. He's got his Redeemer out, so I need to go for my own Marv now. Let's see who's got a base here. Has he got a base here? No, he doesn't. Yep. No base for center. I need to see if he's going for, like, infantry. So let's see if that's the case. 
construction options. Building. Talk that out. You didn't have it. You didn't check for that in the end. He's going for infantry? Question mark. Yeah, yes. He's going just for all in infantry. Just he leave these back at base. He's not got any thing out on the map. Do I have the upgrade? No, I don't. Maybe we need to go for another one of these um, airfields just to get a couple more of those firehawks out. He's not moving out with his MCV just yet. Yeah, he is soon. He's going to try and intercept those on the deck here. So I'm going to just move those away. Might be able to kill something here, maybe. Oh shit, that was a mistake. I didn't want to go in there. Swipes into the back of my base. I don't have power. Oh my god. Get, no, 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 don't do not do that. I, don't, I can't afford to lose anything here, mate. God, he's taking out my power plants in the back. I can't I have, to have any power. He's, it's a good strategy. One that probably centers learn after a while of playing. Let's get this in here. Move forward, please. It's a shame we don't get resources like killing units with a hexapod here. Where's my firehawks? I've been really idle with those lately. Jesus Christ. Infantry here. Wish I had juggernauts, like that's the one thing I wish I really had. I need to redo the bookmark too for this. It's not a slingshot. Ah fuck. It's rig. You can see I'm a bit rusty here. He's just going to recycle his air rage gen. Why is this not dead, this redeemer? It should be really dead by now. I mean, if I kill that, then maybe I have a shot. He's going to sweep in and try and kill that. Oh, get back, 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 back. He just got too much eco. That's going to be GG, and wow, it's got so dark here lately. Is my green screen blinging out? No, it's not. Ah, I'm always proud of about that. But yeah, that's going to be GG. I did try, but without Behemoths, without Juggernauts, it's just really hard. He put immense pressure on me as well. And look at the distance between my second ref and my third. 
Maybe if I, could, maybe if I had killed this Redeemer, I would have been okay. I think that's the second MCV2, so he's just going to spam a bunch of crap. And really, I needed a Wall of Watchtowers, I think, or just maybe a better perimeter of defense. But nevertheless, that's going to be GG. Just going to say GG here, and... Uh, yeah. I think I'll do one more game for you guys today for this video, and then I'll call it a video. But... Yeah, Senna gets himself on the score sheet. Of course, it is a bit of an unfair matchup. Maybe I should have been a bit more aggressive early on. I did have the right idea, though, I think. But, yeah, maybe it just came down to unit balance and such. But, yeah, that's GG. Uh, Senna does take a game from me, and I'll be right back, guys. I just need to sort something out. All right, guys, depending on how long this game goes, this is probably going to be the, uh, the final game of this series. It's been an interesting series thus far. We Black Hand once again. That, of course, the Zocom game. Yeah, what could I have done there? Comments in, this, comments in the comment section down below. What could I have done in that game? Besides maybe a few cheese and gimmicks, maybe a rig push would have been okay. But then he's seen it like a million times already. Um, this map typically rushes don't work so well on. However, I am quite inclined to do the Reckoner to take his spike over again. I do think it's a good strategy, especially on maps where there's two spikes. If I can get a two to zero spike uh, advantage early on, that's a huge deal. So let's see. We take this spike over. And my aim is to take this spike. I just need to know what faction he is like right now. Okay. Need to find my bearings a bit. He's gonna be mocked. Well, that sucks. I mean, why is it every time I go for this, it's just like he's nod. That's quite infuriating. Nevertheless, <coughs> man, I'm really struggling to talk. Ah. Jesus Christ. This could be better. I just seem to be falling apart right now. And he's just going to cap my port, my barracks. Okay. And he's going to try and stop this, no doubt. I think I should be able to get there, though, before he does. So, uh, he's going to still be forced to make some units to stop this. It is a black cam reckon. If he does decide to go for the double war factory again, then that's fine by me. I will, I will take less damage from the rear here. Take out this buggy. Getting away from the expansion. See what he's up to. Taking out that buggy here. He's not actually focusing, so he's going to lose that. And since he lost his buggy, I'm just going to take his spike over. I don't think he'll make the same mistake as before. I don't think. He oh my god, yes, he is. He's going for units. We've got two spikes at least, so that's pretty cool. <coughs> I don't, I'm not sure if he's double war factory. He should have gone for buggies. He knew that I was black hat. He, he knew that I could could do this. If he swipes in and tries to kill a harvester, I'm not sure how effective that's going to be. Make more rocket squads, please. Construction complete. We've got the rockets. The Tiberium will set us free. 
Uh, could have been worse. I am on double spike still. That's my... That's one good thing about this game. You can't take that spike over because I did booby trap it. And there's also a black hand squad in that building. Might be able to garrison that building down there too. I think he's just going to eco ahead in the game. Senna's not known to all in, so I'm hoping he doesn't. Oh my god, he's got that black thing there. Okay then, so if that's what you're going to do, that's fine. It's got eco up. Man, he's got those buggies out now. A lot of them. Wow, he's really ecoed up ahead. Seriously, holy crap! I didn't realize how bad this this was for me. He's really kept me on the back foot. He's not making the same mistake as he did the first game, or the second game. Uh -huh. uh, this map. Just suicides in for harvesters, like here and there. Um, okay. I wish I could aim down my opponent's heart units though. Oh my god, my army's doing nothing. Ah, what a disaster. We will include this one anyways. Yeah, I'm, I'm not playing well, guys. Sorry about this. I'm just going to give it up here. So, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I will try and get some more practice and subsequently some more games for you when I'm playing a little bit better. But nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's going to be a, a rather short and brief video, but yeah, it's long enough, so I, I suppose, especially considering how I'm uploading in 4K nowadays. Ugh, well, that could have been a better conclusion there. Uh, Senna does take a nice convincing win in the end, of course, on a map that I don't really like either, Tournament uh, Galaxy. And I don't like how I'm making these really reckless and stupid decisions in the early game when I don't need to. I just want to play... Um, matchups where I know what I'm up against and uh, yeah that's one of the reasons why I don't really tend to like playing random mirrors or random for that matter. I do play Traveler a lot and yeah uh, Traveler is really good versus random because you can probably uh, end up in a more in a, in a favorable position in most cases if you're a uh, Traveler versus random because you have uh, distance to fend off uh, anything and then you have cultists to take flame tanks and uh, they naturally beat all the screen factions and yeah that's gg so yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video anyways to give me my sleeve stay tuned i'm gonna have more videos coming but when i'm recovered anyways peace out